During extreme maneuvers, it's entirely possible to suffer an engine flim out from compressor stalls or sustain negative Gs. Today we're talking how to reload our engines in flight. You'll find a placard detailing the process above our throttle handle on the side wall. After a sudden loss of power, we need to act fast. Slowing to about 2600 engine RPM will cause our alternators to fail, which will leave us without mains power. Most notably, the main altimeter will fail, freezing in place, so you should reference the backup for altitude instead. At low altitudes, you should seriously consider jettisoning your external stores to reduce drag, allowing for a shallower dive as you maintain a little more than 230 knots to minimise the descent rate. From higher altitude, we've got the luxury to trade height for airspeed, so you should target around 300 knots or 2600 RPM as we dive to keep our systems running. Ok, so let's take it from the top. As the engine flames out, recover or dive to maintain a steady airspeed. Move our throttle into the cutoff position with the latch. Switch off the master air valve to reduce engine resistance and maximise airflow through the turbine. Ensure airspeed is maintained and we'll start the process by sliding the relight switch forwards. The switch automatically will disengage after 30 seconds. Now because the relight switch is rather difficult to find and see, I'd recommend you bind this to a control on your throttle base. Return your throttle to somewhere between idle and military power. Shortly afterwards we should see the RPM increase. Confirm the engine has relit by checking the temperature is between 250 and 700 degrees centigrade, and then resume normal powered flight. With our engine up and running, reopen the master valve, and reset the alternators if required. Alternatively, if the engine does not relight after 30 seconds, return your throttle to the cutoff position Allow at least 30 seconds to pass and confirm the relight switch has switched off, before you attempt to relight again. Whilst a danger to aircraft operations, flame outs should be very rare with proper aircraft handling. Remember to avoid sustained negative Gs, sudden negative G shocks, and compressor stalls to prevent flame outs in future. I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.